Hello and welcome to another filter grade tutorial. My name is Layton and in today's video I'm going to show you how to import, save, and apply LUTs to your footage in Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so the first thing you need to do if you haven't already, update your Final Cut Pro. Finally, they gave us the update we've all been waiting for. You can now apply LUTs to your footage without downloading any extra plugins or using another software. So you can just do that from the App Store. As you can see here, I'm running Final Cut Pro version 10.4. So I've got a couple clips here in my timeline. This is footage from Jasper National Park. This is from the Scarborough Bluffs in Toronto. So the first thing you want to do, open up your inspector by clicking this button up here. And then you're also going to want to open your effects browser, which is the little rectangle with another rectangle inside it. So this is actually really simple. All you need to do is go down to the color section of effects, scroll down until you find custom LUT, custom lookup table. All you have to do is click and drag it onto your footage and you're going to have this little panel pop up here in your inspector. Now where it says LUT, click none, and you can actually choose a custom LUT. So it's really helpful if you have easily accessible folder of LUTs. I have a folder on my desktop here, which is my own custom set of LUTs. So rather than actually going in and clicking one of these LUTs, just click the entire folder that they're in. And if there's something other than Rec 709, like their S-Log 2 or one of those profiles, you can adjust that here. But I'll be using Rec 709 today. So click open and right where it says none, you can actually go down and your entire folder is here with all the LUTs. So that's super convenient. Let's go ahead and apply just the midday standard, a little teal and orange hints there. And you can adjust the intensity of the LUT, moving it down and back up. Let's try another one here. We're gonna go with something more dramatic, a little dark, a bit more cinematic. So you can kind of play with the slider and figure out at what point you want your LUT to shine through. And you can play with these different input and output options. It's gonna change the look of your footage and how your LUT reacts with the footage as you can see if it changes to rec 2020 it's definitely a lot different than the rec 709 so let's try another one here moving on to our next clip make sure you have the clip selected so it pops up in your inspector window again just drag over the custom LUT effect if you can't find it you can always search in the bottom here drag custom LUT over your window pops up there are my LUTs and let's do let's give it a dramatic desaturated orange and teal look Ooh, very cinematic and again I might tone it down just a little bit so there you go, very straightforward. Make sure you update to 10.4. I believe it came out at the end of 2017 there, so you should have it already. And if you're looking for some amazing LUTs to apply to your footage, check out filtergrade.com for a wide variety and high quality video LUTs to apply to your footage. I myself am a big fan of the Cineplus Kino LUT pack, as well as any LUT pack from Newman Films. Or maybe check out the LUT pack from yours truly. So there you go, thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out filtergrade.com for all the best Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets, Capture One styles, video LUTs, and After Effects templates.